So to sum it up, pretty much President Trump is saying, why oh why would I get in the way of Joe, who doesn't know if he's coming, and he doesn't know where to go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are all doing well. I am Ty Smith. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I know y'all keep hearing me repeat this, but I really do appreciate y'all taking time out of y'all day to view my content. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it, but if you definitely enjoy it and you want to see more of it, make sure you click that button right there so that it can consistently be recommended to you. Don't forget to follow me on all the platforms above and below, and don't forget to double check to make sure that you are subscribed. Boom. I was able to do that in 40 some seconds. Usually it takes me about a minute. I'm working on it, but when I talk fast, you guys are like, dude, slow down. I got to put you down in halftime in order to understand what you're saying. You know, working on it. All right. All right. Got to talk about this story right here because a lot of people are expecting Trump to say something about what's been going on after the debate. After the debate. And pretty much President Trump is saying, like, why should I say something when, you know what? I tell y'all what. I bring you guys to the article I'm referring to right here. Trump focused on campaigning as Democrats are in disarray amid Biden chaos. Trump is prepping for two rallies, the announcement for his VP pick and the RNC convention, a campaign source says. Exclusive. The Trump campaign doesn't want to get in the way of Democrats shooting at each other over President Biden's re-election chances with a source telling Fox News Digital that the former president prefers to focus on campaigning and the upcoming Republican National Convention instead of his rival's implosion. Other than challenging Biden to a second debate, one that he proposes occur without any moderators, former President Trump has been measured in his attacks on Biden. When asked about the strategy, a Trump campaign source said Trump is instead focused on his campaign and winning. Democrats are in disarray, the Trump campaign source told Fox Digital. Why get in the way of them shooting each other? Boom. Boom. I am in complete agreement with this. If like right now, why would any country be focused on trying to so-called destroy America when we are fighting amongst each other? We fight. No, we don't know what a woman is. We don't know. If we should let grown men in the women's bathroom. We let grown men into women's sports. We don't know. You know, we don't know that there is only one race and that's the human race. Do we don't know that people should be. Uh, some of the smartest, most intelligent people that get into certain fields like what I mean in medicine and everything should be qualified based off of their intelligence, their smartness, their grades, all that, J not their skin color. Dude, we, we, we don't know any of these things. So why would they intervene when we don't even know what to do with ourselves? We letting these people, we don't know if we should let illegals in our country or not. We do know, but we letting it happen anyway. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if we should treat our vets better than these illegals. So let it implode pretty much is what they're saying. So this is what I, I'm in complete agreement with this. Let it implode, right? The Trump campaign has its sights set on a GOP nominating convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which begins July 15th and runs through July 18th, the source told Fox News Digital. Trump is expected to be formally nominated during the convention as a 2024 Republican presidential nominee. We have the convention coming up. We have two rallies coming up and we have the VP announcement coming up, the source said. We are focused on what we have to do and the big news coming from us. The Trump campaign source added, we'll let the Democrats shoot at each other all day long. Biden has been reeling amid mounting pressure to step aside and suspend his 2024 campaign, including calls to quit the race from many within the Democratic Party. The concerns began to manifest after Biden's disastrous performance after the first presidential debate. Top Biden campaign aides and White House officials have been engaged in damage control ever since that presidential himself sending a letter to the democrats which i read to you guys earlier today in the letter i told y'all i'm gonna watch the video i don't gotta stress no more on that go back and watch the video of me my title pretty much saying biden writes a letter which we know he didn't write but you know they're saying that he wrote a letter explaining how he wants to stay in it right the 81 year old biden is the oldest president in the nation's history his halting delivery and stumbling answers at the debate in atlanta sparked widespread panic in the democratic party and a rising tide of public and private calls from within his own party for him to step aside, which I don't understand why they are acting like this is something new. I'm just telling y'all, and I'm repeating it again. There is no reason for the Democratic Party to act like they're panicking or to act like this is something new or act like we should do something about this. President Biden has been this way for at least the past two years. 
And the, the, the first two years that he was the president, we saw signs of this. I did videos on it. YouTube didn't like it. They were taking my videos down. Instagram were taking my videos down. Facebook were taking my videos down. TikTok was taking my videos down. Because I was saying, as being in medicine, I see this. I work particularly, we have to do, re when you do residencies or when you do rotations or clinicals, you have to work in a wide range of different fields and aspects of medicine. Dementia, or what we call memory care, was one of them. Men and women's health. We had to work in these orthopedics, pediatrics, geriatrics. You had to work in a lot of these different areas to see if you want to pretty much finalize it down to what your specialty is going to be, right? What I'm saying, while doing rotations in like nursing homes, I was saying, man, Joe Biden is showing some signs of dementia. Oh, why would you say that? He and now it's gotten worse. Nature is something that you will not be able to control. You won't. You could probably try to halt some things, but when it comes to things like dementia and Parkinson's, the only thing you can do is maybe product, probably possibly try to slow, but it's going to happen. And over the course of these past years, we've seen it happening in President Joe Biden. We seen the gaffes. We seen the mixes. We seen the, him losing his train of thought. We all got to witness and see this right before our eyes. And yet you had a lot of people who were so dang going to deceive and relying on the news that they were tricked into not even believing their own eyes. You were told that that's just his stuttering problem. You were told that this is just remnants of the aneurysm that he so-called had. That's what you were told. You were told by a lot of different news medias and people who are for Trump, like people like The View, those cackling witches there. You were told by Kareem Jean-Pierre, his press secretary, oh, he's good. You were told by people like all kinds of other folks that work for President Biden, oh, he's sharp. I talked to him the other day. He just as clear as all get up. He's good. He's great. We go to him for advice. He advised us. Hell, he advises, I heard him advising other countries. They come to him like he's a pretty much an intellectual guru. And yet, you saw before your eyes. True international honor, friend. You saw all that. You saw when President Biden mentioned that he was talking to somebody that no longer lives. You saw that, and yet you were told, oh, he just, he, come on now. You have to stop it. But enough about that. Personally, I think this is a smart move. When you hear the statement or the phrase, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Right now, why would President Trump be focused on what President Biden and them are doing right now? Why would he make comments about that? He laid it out on the table for us all to see for ourselves. President Trump not to speak on what President Biden did. We all got to see it. Now, the Democrats are fighting amongst each other. They want to get President Biden now. President Biden said, I'm not going anywhere because you're Biden. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know what their game plan is, but I can tell you right now, it's not President Biden that's making the decision to stay in the race, per se. I think it's all a setup. He wants to try to stay in there because somebody is telling him, hey, look, this is your next move. You tell them that you want to stay in there. Read these cards as we do this interview. Did that one video I just did with you guys? Read these cards. Read what we're saying right here. Read this. Read this. Read this. That's what we want you to do. While they are all conspiring behind his back, to do what those elites or the entities that are working with the elites want them to do because they have a plan themselves. If they don't, we will stand correct. And I will get on here and say, y'all, I stand correct. President Biden really tried to push through and it didn't work. But I don't know. I think they got somebody lined up from what we've been seeing and hearing. We shall see. Is it all a trick just to deceive all of us? Mainstream media, some of the fake news are even saying they think they got somebody there, perhaps Gavin Newsom, Michelle Obama, something of that sort. Why are they showing us polls of what would happen if Trump ran against Michelle Obama, Kamala Harris, or Gavin Newsom, people like that? Why are they showing that? Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if Nikki Haley switched parties just so she can try to be the person to go in there and do it. Anyway, I think it's smart. Let them fight amongst each other. There's no need to talk about it. I think they're doing a really brilliant job on focusing on what they're going to do at this RNC and also who's going to be next VP. That being said, folks, I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget, please click this button right here because the video is being shadow man. The last two videos I did, check this out. One, 300 views. The other one, 200 some odd views. It's being shadow banned, folks. I'm telling you, it's, it's being shadow banned. That makes no sense. Four days ago when I spoke live, 20, 30,000, 50 some thousand views. The other video, 30 some thousand views. The videos today, they barely crossing 1,000. The, the first two videos are barely crossing 500. It's called being shadow banned. I told y'all they don't like it. That's why it's important for you guys to hit the thumbs up button, to share the video, to actually let other people know about this. Double check to make sure that you still are subscribed. Tell somebody about the channel, folks, and encourage them to subscribe if you would, please. 
Yeah, let's see what y'all comments are going to be about this one. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.